Well, face to face service is a thing of the past during this coronavirus outbreak, and that includes many restaurants. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe joins us from Conshohocken with how some businesses are adapting. Howard? Yuki, we're outside of Flanagan's Boathouse here in downtown Conshohocken. They are still open, however, they aren't allowing any of their customers in. Instead, they are calling in their order, then they are showing up here, either on foot or in their cars, to get their order without ever going inside. We did a nice amount of takeout before, but this is out of control. So we really had to learn how to do it and do it right. Thank you. Flanagan's Boathouse forced to think on the fly on how to stay afloat during a worldwide pandemic. Signs on the door tell customers not to come in. Instead, owner Jamie Weber says they'll bring your food and beer order out to you. People are scared right now, so we're trying to limit as much talk, you know, touching and everything that they don't want to do anymore. To limit face-to-face -face contact, ShopRite has installed plexiglass shields at all of its stores, including this one in East Norton. They're installed at cash registers, pharmacies, customer service areas, and food service stations. Because of the governor's directive that only life-sustaining businesses could remain open, many of the stores at the King of Prussia Town Center were forced to close, and many of the ones that remain open are operating on modified schedules. Back in Conshohocken, Andy Silvestrini, the owner of Caps Deli, says business has taken a hit over the last two weeks. The majority of our customer base is blue collar construction type workers, um, so this week has definitely been slower. He says to accommodate customers who are forced to stay home, they've extended their delivery hours. Order up. We're keeping our heads above water. It's not too bad. It could be a lot worse. And many of the businesses we spoke with say that it could be a lot worse. By the way, the governor still hasn't said how long this directive will be in place. Live in Conshohocken, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Howard, thank you for that.